save the elephants, save the world. Save the jaguars, save the world. Save the tigers, save the world. Where we going? We gonna go save the chimpanzees! Save the tiger, save the world. I'm here with Shark gonna teach him how tigers swim. Tigers have an incredible capacity to be aquatic. They've got the capacity to get in the water and move at such speed because they actually have webbed toes. We're gonna look at those toes, we're gonna see how they move. We're gonna try to show the shark how to swim with them because even though he's a shark, he may not be a tiger shark. It may take a little bit of practice for him to get moving around the water and bleed less. <laughs> Wait, I see what you did there, tiger shark? All right, all right, we'll see. I've never swam with a tiger before, but what other place would I rather do this? Um, let's see. You ready? I'm ready. We're gonna try. We'll get the first one. Our beloved uh, assistant China is gonna move on into us. Let's go. So we're letting the tiger swim along right here. They have an incredibly casual, easy stroke. We're just helping hold it in place. You can grab just a little bit of this hair and his skin because he has this super loose skin all over. And if you're holding on to that a little bit, it just kind of gives them a little more buoyancy and they can just kind of stay in place. So give, just give them a little grip. So hold on. Yeah, because it doesn't bother him to hold on. And you can, and you can just kind of balance him there. And then he gets a chance, he can put his foot up on me and he can relax. Wow. How you doing, huh? This is Umba. Umba is a Bengal tiger. That's just tiger talking, a little burping action going on right there. <laughs> It's all pretty nice stuff. Uh, Umba just has that little talk that she's doing. She's just telling us, you know, hello, what's happening. All right, so she's just kind of swimming in place here a little bit. We're gonna try and give her a little float. The thing's so gonna reach under her chest. You're gonna pick up right here. You're gonna hold her butt just a little bit right there. Lift, 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 and bring her towards you. Right. So she's hanging out with us right here, just kind of relaxed. We're gonna take a look. Look at these puppies inside here. She's got these lovely little claws. So you're always watching out for these to make sure that you don't get scratched. Um, they're just a little bigger than the average house cat. The thumb is always the biggest one, the dew claw here. My little girl. Are you talking tiger talk? So they like to just rest on the side like this. They're happy to have us really close. Come right up there and talk to her face. Just say hello to her. She'll get, she'll get more used to you the more you're sitting right there. Yeah, nose to nose. Give her a little Eskimo action. Yes. Yeah. And they like that Eskimo action. She says, man, I'm a clean and sparkly. Their paws are the same size as my hand. Yeah, and this is a little kid. This is a about 100 pounds, 125 wow. pounds of tiger child right here. Um, this is a little girl, so she'll max out probably at 370 to 400 and a quarter. Same. That'll be as big as she gets. <laughs> Not like you, you know. She's got a lot of growing to do, you know. They, she, they, they, they grow really quick, unlike sharks, which grow incredibly slow over a long period of time. And Tigers grow really fast. Almost a pound a day is gonna be gained by a tiger like this. And how it's heavy was she when she was born? Less than half a pound, the size of a small woman's shoe. A teeny tiny little kid. Started out as a paw. Yep, just, yeah, that, that, that piece of the paw. She was certainly no bigger than that. And this is her at six months. Wow. The tigers grow so fast, that's insane. Yeah, she's got a lot of growing still to go. It'll take her till she's a couple of years old to get full grown. She's just uh, back to looking into the water. Are they all so, yeah. I'll reach up and grab, go for her chest a little bit, reach underneath, under that armpit, under the armpit. Under the armpit, to that little secure. You're gonna grab it just to lower down, lower down, and just a little, a little higher. You, you grab lower down. Right there, right there. You feel it? Well, this is what we call the cradle here. She just got a little cradle to her. She feels a little higher in the chest, a little lower in the back. So she's hanging. We got just a little bit of rain coming down, but it's so warm in here. The pool's 95 degrees, so it's just beautiful to hang out with. She doesn't care what it is. This gave us a big burp. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of chicken going in this puppy at a time. Probably eating 10 pounds a day of high quality what? chicken and beef, pork. It's a massive consumption. That's almost as much as me. But not quite. <laughs> she doesn't cook any of hers. Guys, this tiger is so calm and beautiful. This is literally insane. Look, is that another bird? Another bird. It smells like chicken. <laughs> <laughs> push, push, go, go, go. Guiding you with your body. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. He was just.
Can I just say hello to each other? A lot of the time, but that little face bump, that little head bump, it, it makes them have this feeling of security that they're there and that everything's set. <laughs> you're a good girl. You're a good girl. Shark goes. Shark and tiger. Stay right with her. Head to those stairs. Ooh. Ooh. Right there, talking to her. What's up, Get that. That's some good swimming. That's some good swimming. That's a good girl. Now, that, I, I'm helping out by putting a little bit of drag on her so she's not going as fast as she can. She would out swim me. Like, for sure would out swim me. I'm not Michael Phelps. We're going to try it again without the drag and we'll just see how, how well she does and how well Shark does keeping up. Guys, this is a standard Bengal tiger. They have this deep orange and these black stripes on them. Literally, this is Tigger's cousin. All right, we've got something now. Guys, I'm, I'm terrified, honestly. The tiger was one thing, but this frog. Woo! This chill, is, this chill, is, chill. This is a little bufo toad. Oh. The venom in these guys Wait, really? only happens when they're more mature. At this size, if you chewed him up, he might get you venomated, but he has venom later. He's an invasive type of toad that's all over the, the southern uh, part of uh, Florida. Guys, the number one thing I'm scared of is frogs, and I would rather swim with the tiger than this frog, but Doc made me hold the frog, so here we go. I'm building power for him, giving him some big guts. Touch his butt. Oh, chill, chill. You can do it, you can do it. Oh! The frog got you round up. The frog wound him up. He's thinking that the, the tiger might be as dangerous as the frog. All right, so this little girl's gotten more relaxed. Shark's wait, gotten wait, wait. way more relaxed. Did you just call her little? Little teeny baby. Guys, 120 pounds at six months old. That beat my record. Anyway. <laughs> She's being nice and relaxed. So this is our Bengal tiger. We're gonna let her go right there. So we're just gonna let her swim. She can stay right next to her. And we can help her by just, if we just hold on to this little piece, she'll, she'll, she'll get to, she'll have the help. Your chest, we just snug her in, snug her in, hand her on this side, hand her on that side a little bit. Snug, chest, up, right lift up underneath, lift. See, look, feet, feet are cold, feet are done. See, she's like, ta-da. <laughs> Our standard Bengal tiger, this little girl right here. And, they, and tigers have four distinct amazing colors. So, Cody, you're gonna help us uh, show you the, uh, the next phase here. Come on over this way, bud. Look at this little guy. What? This is a little boy. Look at that beautiful face. Oh, hello, hello, friend, hello. Well, this is a royal white Bengal tiger, right? Still both Bengal tigers. They can come from the same litter. Bengal tigers and standard tigers can come from the same place. And this guy's a little more beefy, and he's probably about a month younger. So they want to wrestle right now <laughs> and clown around a little bit. They're giving each other hugs. This is tiger love. All right, we have a little his and hers action going on right now. Are they brother and sister? Nope, they are, they are cousins, but they're not brother and sister. She's dominant, right? She's wrestling on him, and she's been swimming with us now for a while. So she's like, I'm cleaning the pool, and he's like, I'm not sure what these uh, big monkeys want with me in here. I'm in here just taking a bath, trying to chill. We try to swim with them at least once a week so that they get used to being with us. It creates a bond. It makes them be super clean. Yeah. And uh, it's good for their skin. It's good for them overall. It's so crazy like, how the male is bigger and younger. Look, they love each other. <laughs> They're wrestlers. She thinks that she is large and in charge right there. <laughs> you know, honestly, I feel so calm right now. We're literally best friends. Like, honestly, we just swam. Cody and me raced the Tigers. Obviously, we beat the Tigers. The race. Tigers like this just have an incredible time being in the water. Hanging out in the water is their main way to keep cool in the incredibly hot jungles of Southeast Asia. They find a pool, they find a river, they want to be right next to it. Of course, they need a drink, but they love to get wet because tigers don't want to be hot. All tigers once came from Siberia. They migrated south during the last great ice age into the warmer climates of Southeast Asia. Their warm body temperatures that they carried with them from the far reaches of Siberia 
are cooled off by finding water. So tigers are aquatic. The only cat that's more aquatic is the jaguar. There, there, that's good, that's good. Give a little height. Yeah, talk. I found out big cat. Oh my gosh. Right. No idea. I can't believe I just did that. Do, 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 Keep going. Keep going. Don't stop. The dance is not over. He's getting it. Oh, He's getting it. Oh, wow. <laughs> Excuse me, I'm right here. Guys, this is a prom date right now, all right? Where are you going? Uh, you want to go to prom? Go, go, go. Oh, man. Good job. Guys. <laughs> He's at home right now. Right? Six more months? No blame. Give me a 7,000 pound tiger. Let's get it. All right, we're going to try and show you how to hold this tiger. Wait, this one? Yeah, this one. I mean, OK. See how comical she is? Yes, You can do that same thing. Just bring this hand underneath her chest, all the way up where mine is. Hold on to that. Give her some support. Hold this back in. All the way over here, just like that. I'm going to let go. Are you ready? Yeah. That's all you. She loves the water, she loves to swim, and she gets to that point where she just wants to relax. And you're She's holding literally her just floating. Yeah, that's just what they like to do. You can actually even support their bottom feet on your back leg. She's so calm. These guys are water dogs. Really? Yep. They're I always thought, I always thought tigers didn't like water because, you know, cats don't like water, but I guess not. It's a big misconception. Tigers love water. The only ones that are more aquatic than these guys are jaguars. Oh, really? You guys have any of those around here? We do have a couple of those. <laughs> <laughs> have fun. Do you want to swim with the tiger? I mean, I can try. You're fine. Go, 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 go. And right. Let's show it all for you. There you go. Hey guys, this is beautiful Vali and Sagriva, our eight-year-old chimpanzee brothers. You can come visit them and the rest of our animal family. Come meet their little baby brother, play ball with these guys, and share some pizza with them at the Myrtle Beach Safari. You can also check out what we're doing to help save great apes like this, rhinos, tigers, and orangutans in their last habitats at the rarespeciesfund.org. Make sure you guys subscribe and follow us and check out for the next episode.